In this episode, we're going to talk about how to focus on your sample and switch between magnifications. For this video, I'm going to assume that you've already aligned your condenser properly. This is a topic I'm going to cover uh, later in the series in episode 5. To start, lower the stage of your microscope to its lowest position and rotate your nose piece to, to uh, put an empty spot over top of where your sample will go, if at all possible. This is a good practice to get into because it will help to ensure that you don't damage your lenses when you're putting samples onto the microscope. So to put a slide on the stage, you want to draw back on the clip, put your sample onto the stage, and then put the clip back into place. Now you notice on this slide, I have a red line as well as what looks like a haze area. The red line is just that, it's a felt pen drawn on the top of the slide where the sample is located. This is a good habit to get into because it makes it much easier to focus your microscope. This is just some old yeast slurry that I dried onto this slide uh, to show you today. What I want to do next is turn on my light source and swing into position my lowest magnification lens. You always want to be starting with your lowest magnification lens because this is the easiest lens to find your focus on. Now, while looking through the eyepieces and turning the focus knobs, I want to bring my sample up until focus, basically looking through the eyepieces to see when that sample is actually uh, in focus. When focusing, be very careful not to ram the sample into your lens as this can scratch your lens and permanently damage it. Once you've focused on the line, it is now easy to use your stage controls or to move the slide manually to bring the sample into the field of view. In all likelihood, you're going to want a higher uh, magnification image than the one you can get with your lowest magnification lens. But the good news is that you don't have to go through this whole focusing process with every lens. Most microscopes are set up to be par focal, and what that means is if we rotate our lens from one to the next, the next lens should automatically be in focus or only require very minor tweaks using the fine focus knob. Now one thing that is important is whenever you're switching uh, between air lenses, so that is lenses that image the sample with nothing between the lens and the sample itself, you want to be very careful not to rotate in an oil or a water objective lens, because if you do this incorrectly, you could damage your most expensive lens on your microscope. Ideally, you should have your microscope configured so that you can rotate in the same direction from your lowest magnification lens to your medium magnification lens or medium magnification lenses and have your oil immersion lenses or your highest magnification lenses at the end of that rotation curve. 